Hey guys, it's Dr. McGlasson. I have had several people tell me that they're just lost as to what they're supposed to be looking for. Um, even though we went through it in class, it was a little bit quickly. So for the first country analyst assignment for resources, remember what the questions are. The questions are, one, tell me about the resources for your country, the land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurial ability. Two, get me a current event example that shows some kind of a change in the land and or the labor and or the capital and or entrepreneurial ability, some resource change for your research country. And then three, you're going to show me a production possibilities curve graph that demonstrates what's going on for your research country. Um, and don't forget that you also need to have a bibliography, but I made that easy for you when I gave you the resources. So what I have here is um, all the tabs that you would need. These are the same things that I recommended in the handout that I gave you in class. I said most of the data you'll get from the CIA World Factbook. You can get some entrepreneurial ability data from the Index of Economic Freedom. Um, easy Bib is so that you can build your bibliography in MLA format without having to worry about nitpicking MLA format. They'll do it for you. Um, and then some sources for current events like The Economist, NPR, or the Christian Science Monitor. That Those are all good, really world news sources. So you'll find something on just about every country there. So let me think about for a minute question number one, where question number one, let me bring this in here for a second if I can. Question number one says report on the current resources of your research country, key information about land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurial ability. So that on the worksheet that I gave you in class, I gave you all those resources, I said go to the CIA Factbook. Go to the country. So I'm going to pretend since um, none of you had selected Haiti as your research country, I'm going to pick Haiti as my research country. Just have to find it. There, Haiti is in the pull down list. And then what I really need to do is figure out, okay, where does this information come from? Well, if I'm looking for land, remembering that land is natural resources, any natural resource, the only category here that really makes sense out of intro, geography, people and society, government, economy, geography is the one that makes sense that it's telling you about the natural resources. So I can come in here and take a look at things like the location, the size of the country, because remember, when you are telling me about the resources, what I'm really asking you is tell me about the quantity and the quality of the resources that they have, and then tell me whether, based on what you found, you think this is a strength or weakness for the country. So in the case of Haiti, um, it is fairly small. It is half of an island. Actually, it says the western one-third of the island. Um, in here, it says slightly smaller than Maryland. Uh, it tells me about the climate and the terrain, um, tropical and semi-arid. You think, well, good, they ha could produce some tropical plants that couldn't be produced in countries like the U.S. That might be good for them. But then the next thing says terrain is rough, mostly rough and mountainous, which means of the land that they have, not much of it can be farmed. So that's going to be a problem. So I go in here and I pull a bunch of data uh, for natural resources. Now let me show you. I just dumped that information into a document. So land I found in the CIA Factbook under geography. Um, area total, they are 148th largest out of 223 countries, I think, in the fact book in the world. Um, I dumped in the information about what they can produce, some minerals that they have. But please don't make the mistake of then just saying, okay, I'm done. A lot of people, when they're doing this website, will just copy and paste stuff out of the fact book and say, okay, good, that looks great. Look at that great information I have. The problem is this is a country analyst assignment. This is not a country copy and paste assignment. So this is not going to be sufficient. This is the information that I had to gather, but now I've got to do something with it. So the part that I have here in brown is what I grabbed just as notes out of the fact book. Um, I also found an image like the one I showed you in class that emphasizes the fact that Haiti has this issue with deforestation. The left part of Hispaniola is um, really barren and the right part is fairly green. So the right-hand side is Dominican Republic, the left-hand side is Haiti. So you can see a huge contrast right along the borderline. Um, in the bottom here, in blue, is where I did my analysis. 
based on what I have seen, natural resources do not appear to be an area of strength for Haiti because the land mass is fairly small, so they don't have that much natural resources. Um, what they have is mostly mountains, so they don't have a lot of farming areas, so that's going to be a problem for them food-wise. The island is prone to natural disasters. They get hurricanes, they get earthquakes, they get drought, they get flood, so um, I think maybe the only thing they don't get is a swarm of locusts. Uh, but natural disasters tend to heat, hit with some regularity. Um, while Haiti does have some amount of metals and mineral deposits, and I, I make sure that I say the fact book data tells me these things, um, there aren't very large quantities because it's a small country. Uh, then also problematic for them is the fact that they've abused their other natural resources, as can be seen in this aerial photograph of the island of Hispaniola. The island, which is shared by Haiti and the Dominican Republic, you take a look and you can say, you know, Haiti's just made a mess of their resources. So all in all, land then would be a minus, it would be a weakness for them. Um, what about labor? Where am I going to find labor? Let me move my document out of the way and go back to the website. So for, let me get, close this. For labor, again, I just look through and say, well, what makes sense here? Um, intro, geography, people, and society, that seems like that would be talking about labor. So when I am talking about labor, remember I told you in class, I am not looking for unemployment figures. That's going to be the next assignment. I want to know potentially how much labor do they have and what is the quality of that labor. So quantity and quality. Like in the U.S., we have 150 million people in our labor force. That is a very large labor force. It's highly educated, highly skilled. So we have a large quantity and a high quality labor force. What about Haiti? If I look at Haiti um, population, they have about 10 million people. Um, I can look at age structure because that will tell me something. If your people in your economy are too old, they can't work. If they're too young, they can't work. The working age, the strongest working age is going to be in these mid-range years. So um, interestingly, the fact book now has introduced this pyramid, uh, population pyramid, and for Haiti, it's really loaded in the young area and tapers off a lot in the older area. So what we would consider, you know, maybe this 15 to 65 range, you start seeing the population shrinking. So that's an indicator about the strength of their labor force. Um, median age is about 22. In the U.S., it's more like 40, I believe. I'd have to double check that. Um, population growth rate, it's hardly growing. They have a lot of problems since the earthquake. A lot of people were killed directly from the earthquake, and then a lot of disease followed from the earthquake. Um, birth rates, death rates. So I can use all of these things. Um, what else do I have in here that could tell me about the quality of labor? Uh, life expectancy is 63 approximately. Um, 62.85. In the U.S., it's more like 72, so they are 186th in the world out of 223 countries for life expectancy. Uh, talk about fertility. Water sources, they're having problems with clean water. Sanitation facilities, big, um, they're pretty high on the list, 31st out of 223 countries for AIDS. Uh, obesity, not a problem so much. I mean, there's some amount. But more of a problem for them is the fact that they have uh, malnourished children. So that's going to be an issue. And then they have things like literacy. So again, I just grab the information. That's kind of my notes. I put it into my document. Let me put it over here. Um, so under labor, I talked about the population. I talked about the CI, or I dropped the part about um, life expectancies, problems with AIDS, um, issues that have arisen since the earthquake. I put in the uh, population spread, literacy, but what's going to be important for this assignment is I can't just dump this stuff in here and say, oh good, I'm done, because all I did was copy and paste this brown part. The blue part is my analysis. Labor does not appear to be an area of strength for Haiti. Look at quantity and quality of Haitian labor. Quantity of labor, population is about 10 million. That's 88th out of 223 countries for population size. And um, just as a reference for whoever visits my website, New York City has close to 10 million people. So Haiti has about the population of New York City. Um, prevalence of diseases such as AIDS and cholera are not helping the size of the labor force. So death rates are up. 
life expectancy is down, quantity of labor is not going to um, be a strength for them. Quality of labor, um, it's a high rate of child labor, which is probably not as productive as adult labor. High rates of highly infectious and deadly diseases, you know, that makes people less productive. Malnourishment, lack of access to clean water makes people less productive. Life expectancy is lower than surrounding countries. They are um, really at the low end of life expectancy. Literacy rates are extremely low. They have fewer years of education. So all in all, both the quantity and quality of labor are a weakness for Haiti. Uh, what about capital? Capital is machinery and equipment. So I've got to figure out where am I going to find capital in here? If I close the people in society thing here, government, economy, um, there's actually three categories here that are helpful for looking at capital because you're not going to find a category called machinery and equipment but I can look at energy production because that requires a certain amount of technology and machinery. I can look at communications and transportation because that's my infrastructure. If those things are good, then capital is a strength for my country. So I, I just went in here and grabbed a bunch of information about electricity production. Then I grabbed some information about the communications, phone lines, mobile use, internet providers. And one more, I grabbed information about transportation, airports and roadways in the country. Uh, if I drag my document back over just so you can see, and really I just have this Word document as a dumping place so that I can work from this, get everything the, the way that I want it, write it up the way that I want it, and then I can just put this information into my website later. Um, under capital, electricity production, 153rd in the world, electricity consumption, 185th in the world, but you know, that could just be because Haiti is such a small country. Exports, they don't export any, they don't import any, so they're self-sufficient with their electricity, um, but their installed generating capacity, their capacity to make power is 169th out of 223 countries. Out of that, um, about 80% comes from fossil fuels and about 20% comes from hydroelectric. They have no nuclear power plant facilities, which is kind of an indicator about um, maybe the size of the country, but also the level of their technology. They just don't have the resources to be able to have a nuclear power plant and no electricity from renewable resources. Um, so they're not producing solar and wind energy. Uh, phone lines, cell phones, internet hosts, I threw all this stuff in here just as my notes. The brown part is just what I took as notes. That is not going to be my assignment because that's just copy paste. Down here in the blue, based on the CIA factbook data, Haiti is behind technologically. It does not have a lot of developed physical capital. It has poor infrastructure and capital is a weakness. Transportation, Haiti does have roads and airports. They rank about 150th in the world for these. Um, but only 18% of the roads that they have are paved and less than a third of the runways that they have are paved. Internet access, Haiti ranks 188th for internet hosts and 98th for internet users. Um, and there may be some ratio there that says that that's good. They have rank higher for users than for the number of hosts. So maybe that's actually favorable, but basically they're pretty small and don't have a lot of access. Um, phone use, in a country of 10 million, they have 50,000 main phone lines. That's it, 163rd out of 223 countries. Um, mobile usage is on the rise, but is right now about 6 million out of 10 million, 6 million cell phones to a ratio of 10 million people in their population. Um, just as a reference, in the US, um, we have 300 million people and we have over 500 million cell phones. Uh, energy, Haiti ranks low on both production and uses. Again, a usage, again, maybe because it's just small, but another indicator of the lack of technology and equipment in Haiti is that all the electricity production comes from kind of old school generation, from fossil fuels, from hydropower. They get nothing from nuclear power plants nor from renewable resources. So all indicators that I have say that um, technology, machinery, equipment is in very poor shape in Haiti, which leaves me then just with entrepreneurial ability. Um, I often have people look at entrepreneurial ability and just make stuff up. 
There is no reason you should just make stuff up because I gave you a resource here. I gave you the index of economic freedom to look at. Um, you guys told me in class that the entrepreneur would prefer to be someplace with lower regulation, someplace where it's fairly stable, someplace where people have money to spend. So the index of economic freedom helps me with that. Um, Haiti, of course, is not going to be anywhere in the top 10, but I can find it by putting it in the search box here. Haiti, in fact, ranks 156th out of 178 countries that they rank here. Uh, a couple of things that I look at is um, their freedom from corruption is down, which means corruption is up from the previous year. Fiscal freedom, business freedom, monetary freedom, trade freedom, those are all down. Um, investment freedom is up a little bit. Uh, they do give a little bit of data over here about the country. Again, about 10 million people. Um, $12 billion a year is what the country earns as a whole, which if you think about the fact that Bill Gates is worth $50 billion, um, they're worth, as a country, only about a quarter of what Bill Gates is worth. Um, what I was more interested in was the fact that they have $1,200 per capita income, which means on average, each person in the country earns about $1,200 a year. 40% unemployment. And these are things you guys told me about. Uh, an entrepreneur probably doesn't want to be someplace where there's 40% unemployment and where people don't have much money to spend. And then they give regional rankings here at the bottom. What I was looking for was the overall rankings. So I know that they are 156th. I'm just going to scoot in here. So countries that are in this dark green range are ranked free, mostly free in the U.S. is actually in this uh, mostly free region, I believe, uh, moderately free. And I start getting lower and lower. And I, if I scroll down to number 156, Haiti is in the repressed region, which means there's not a lot of economic freedom. Um, so take a look around this site to get yourself some more information. And let me scoop back over here to entrepreneurial ability. Okay, so I just grabbed um, a couple of screenshots and some data from here. Um, again, everything that's in brown, I didn't do. It's not my analysis. I wanted to remind myself of that, that that's somebody else's information. Mine is in the blue. What does it mean? Your typical entrepreneur would not be very interested in doing business in Haiti. Remember that the entrepreneur was someone who recognizes a profit opportunity, can organize the other resources, and is willing to assume risk. The entrepreneur likes a business environment where the customers have money to buy their product or service, has low regulation and taxes, and does not have an undue amount of risk. According to the Heritage Foundation, um, they had an average annual per person income of $1,200. That's about $3.40 a day. An unemployment rate of 40%. Corruption's on the rise. Decrease in business, trade, fiscal, and monetary freedoms. Overall index of, of economic freedom of 48.9. Um, here's their ranking, and that puts them in the repressed category. Um, then my conclusion here about overall about Haiti's resources I've just said that every single resource is a weakness for Haiti. Is it possible for every category to be a weakness? Of course it is. That's why Haiti is so poor. When all of their resources are bad, when everything they have is a weak spot for them, that doesn't bode very well for their economy. So I have it certainly seems to be the case for Haiti and helps one to understand why it is that Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Indeed, Haiti's economy is much closer to the most poverty-stricken nations of Sub-Saharan Africa than it is to its American neighbors in North, Central, and South America. Um, so I know that this video is getting a bit long, so I'm going to cut this off right here. I will make another video for you showing you where to get the resource change information, and then one more just showing you how to use Weebly. So hopefully you can pick and choose if you're struggling with any one of these areas on this homework assignment.